I want to ask you, have you heard about August? What's his name? August Astilla? Uh, what's his name? I don't know. August uh, Astilla. What the fuck is his August, name? August Augustine. August Augustine. Have you heard is about that him? Right? I don't think uh, that's it, right. Everybody right there, right? I don't know. Have what you heard about, about him? That it's official. That he a woman? <laughs> Fuck no, he's not a woman. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, that he had a relationship with Jada Pickett, and it was and, and Will Smith knew about it. You ever heard about that shit? Oh, is that why they would say I saw some yeah. stuff? Yeah. Oh. And that they all lived in the same right. house. Right. I was some freak. <laughs> What's that? What I say? I'm, freak I'm a freak host slut. I'm a freak host slut. Freak host slut. August Austin is a freak host slut. <laughs> well, he, it got him on. No, that was before he got on. This is after he got on. But he, I thought he was sick. Well, he was sick, so he been on with her for three years. Oh, okay. Yeah, he was sick. So he been with her for how long? They said they was. I don't know, but he been with her for a minute. They still together? Nah, they're not together. That's why you talking about it. Cause they uh, broke up and he hurt. Uh, that nigga a pussy. Uh, he thought he wait he, he thought, thought wait he lady. thought he Will thought Jada was gonna leave. leave Will Smith for him. Is that what he thought? For his young sickly ass. Sickly broke ass nigga. That's Will Fuck motherfucking Smith here, nigga. Boy. Fuck out of here nigga. Now I'm gonna act. I'm gonna ask y'all what I know. What I wanna ask. I don't give a fuck what y'all wanna ask. I'm gonna ask you right. You know I'm. I want to act right. Y'all know I want to act right. If I could, if, if Jada Pickett Smith wanted to be with me, mm-hmm. and we had Will Smith blessing, mm-hmm. and through that I could be in movies and everything. But but Jada's still doing her thing, and and she know I got a I got my wife and everything. What would you say? <laughs> This a this a we gonna run that shit. We gonna run that shit, nigga. We gonna run that million dollar, nigga. Man, we gonna run that shit. I say that she need a personal assistant. I be in the house too. We can be in the house together. Nigga, I I I suck her toe while you do her books, nigga. And it's top. Miss Jader, Miss Jader Smith, Smith. <laughs> this Smith nigga, because, and 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 maybe August ain't got no male figure he could talk to, but fellas, and moving forward, don't ever disclose your sugar mama. That's whole shit. One hundred. That was a lick. No, don't. Don't no man plan on some woman taking care of him forever. What the fuck is you thinking, nigga? That was a lick. Whenever it stopped, you thank Jesus. Lord, thank you for this lick. And you move on with your life. You don't get on no fucking interviews crying about how you love this married woman. But you know what I'm saying? Like like me, like if Jada came to me and I talked to my brother or my dad. I'd be like, hey man, hey man. I just I would came my mom, my brother, and my dad just like this. Hey man, Jada Smith fuck with a nigga. Nah, I'd be like, hey man. They'd be like, what's up? They'll say that shit loud. What's up? Hey, Jada Smith fucking with a nigga. They would have got quiet as fuck. They be like, like, <laughs> like my dad, Maris, he'd be like, for real. Jada Smith fuck with you. But you better go get that money. <laughs> <laughs> My brother don't even have a girl. He'll be like, for real. Just with you. <laughs> <laughs> you hey, hey. Hey, nigga, hey. If I if I was to tell your dad, if I was to tell your dad that Jay Smith fucking with your dad, be like, Jay Smith fucking with your boy. <laughs> 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 that's your Jamaican. That's your Jamaican dad. Jada Smith fucking with you, boy. That was awful. Bumpo That was awful. 
Boy, you about to beat the poom poom out cool. What was that? I, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> hey, lesson learned. Hey, don't be no whole nigga, man. If you got your sugar mama, hold on to her till she get rid of your ass, man. And count as a blessing. That shit wasn't going to last forever. It won. It's very few Stedmans out there. Very few. One. I don't know not one nigga that didn't had a sugar mama longer than what? Any years. Really? Stedman? Besides Stedman, who you know? Got a sugar mama Nobody. on that level? Nobody. Nobody. Because women don't, don't fuck with niggas like that. It's just they just don't. You know what I'm saying? Your cuteness will wear out. They want some man shit eventually. They just want some a uh, man. I got how much money a woman got. They want you to be on some man man shit eventually. Simple. Yeah. Women want to feel like women. That's why August got the boot. Got the fucking boot because Will Smith on his man shit. Bitch, I pay everything up here. Will can, Jada Smith can go in a room and 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 smoke all day, and all bills and all accessories will be paid for. August can't handle that. He ain't on no man shit. So take your sugar mama moment and go on about your fucking life. Quit being on these interviews crying about how you love Jada and Jada put that thing on you. I mean, he ain't say that, but that's pretty much what he's saying. She put that thing on me. Now I love her. I was hurt. Now, man, I give a fuck about you, Ben. She got that cougar pussy. That cougar pussy. And don't nobody care about niggas' feelings? (laughs) Nobody cares about niggas' feelings, man. No, like, let's be honest. Do anybody care about that nigga feeling? And then I even heard women talking about what? Jada was wrong. For what? For fucking with that young ass nigga while that mental, mental. Yeah, because he, it's ain't wrong with him. So, Jada wanted but something. But she big. wanted, no, she wanted somebody to take care of, and she got it. And she got Obviously, it. Obviously, from the way that he's behaving. And she, and, I'm, hey, I'm, a, hey, all right, I'm going to tell y'all what happened. I'm going to tell y'all what happened. What? I'm going to tell you why that nigga acting like that. Why? Why he's so in love. And it's women's fault. It's women's fault. August Augustine and every other man on earth. You know that ain't his name. I don't know that nigga, man. <laughs> I don't know that nigga, man. I love this shit. I love this that shit. Nigga. Yeah, that nigga. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> I'm going to tell you what it is. Women's fault. I'm going to tell y'all for real. Women. Very few men has experienced love from a woman with no expectations. Mm-hmm. Jada Smith probably treated that nigga like a king and he had to do a motherfucking thing. Yeah, because she was looking for another child. Or, right, or whatever. He never... Ex- ain't no man ain't never spent... Like, I have... That's why I got a wife now. Because my wife fucked with me on some... On some she fuck with me type shit. But most women, when they fuck with a nigga, they want something in return from that nigga. Well, that's true. Jada didn't need nothing from this nigga. And he was like, holy shit. This shit is awesome. Yeah. He was like, I ain't got to sing no songs. Well, I ain't got... to no white man. Or here's the thing. I ain't got to... I ain't got to be motherfucking... Uh... James Evans from Good Times, or, or, or this mm-hmm. manly man, or or this balling ass nigga, or I this fly. I could just be me, and she gonna love the shit out of me. Nah. A lot of men have never experienced that kind of love, real shit. That's why you be like, nigga, he a mama's boy. He a mama's boy. Nigga, probably mama ain't never loved him like that. Yeah, that's, that's sad. That shit sad, man. Very sad. A lot of a lot of black men. Ain't never I, fuck that men. A lot of men ain't experienced that that kind of love without a uh, arterial mode. Like ain't, ain't no woman show a man that kind of love. Unconditional. Unconditional. That's un, ain't no ain't a lot of men ain't never had no unconditional love. A lot of women ain't got unconditional love. A lot of men. But men make it hard. What you mean to love men them make unconditional? Make it hard to love them unconditionally. Men make it hard. Yes. To love us unconditionally. Yes. How? I think that's a whole separate conversation. That's also <laughs> Give me an example. Like, give, uh, give me an example though. This, just for this video, I'm gonna cut it out from this. You I'ma cut it out. If she give me an example of how men make it hard 
to love us unconditionally. Give me one example, and I'm going to cut this video off. Because at some point, men are not mature enough to actually verbalize what it is that they want. There's a turning point. But 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 from a boy to a man. But what? But, and that transition is no set age. But then when but then in, when I be giving you conditions though, when I be giving you conditions, if I tell you what I want, when I be giving you conditions, it would be no longer unconditional, right? Right. So to okay to love a man unconditionally means to say he has I love him with his flaws and all. Right. But. Sometimes you don't know the flaw. The man. The man doesn't, doesn't know, know his own flaws. flaws. His own flaws. Correct. Okay. So how can the woman love him fully, unconditionally, if he doesn't know himself yet? Right. But even if he don't know himself, what he's doing in that moment should be loved. If it's unconditional, right? So whatever he's doing at that time. And that's what Nobody I'm saying. Nobody is owed unconditional. No, 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 no. That's what I'm saying. In in August, Augustine's situation. I don't know that nigga name no August Augustine. I'm sorry, y'all. <laughs> I'm butchering this nigga name. <laughs> but in his situation, he was going through depression. He they're going blind. Mm -hmm. All this other shit. Mm -hmm. So so he wasn't even I think the pain he was in when well, even we're not focused on it. We're talking about men. Most men. Okay, most men. Okay, so right, so right, so so even he had a vulnerability to that him. allowed Jada Pinkin to love him fully unconditionally. Okay, okay, but with men, okay, so you also oh, women and that's just, women like a vulnerable man. It's easier to love. Ladies, is I it see, easier? I told you this is not is a it, conversation. Oh, shit. Is it easier to love a vulnerable man? Like, is it hard to love a man who got his shit together? This stuff is supposed to be for my Oh, podcast. shit. That's okay. some deep shit. I'm going to cut it off, y'all. Hey, let me hey, let me know what y'all think about this motherfucking situation with Jada Pickett, man. Podcast coming soon. Um, it's called Talking Shit While Married. You hear that shit? She don't even sound hype about that shit for real. I don't sound hype! You a hater! <laughs> the album, we out! Ah! <laughs>